67% of registered voters say they will turn up to vote in the referendum of the of which 75 percent of them say that they will be voting for a yes vote in, a, in the poll conducted by the institute of local government studies 12 percent of respondents said they will vote no while 13 percent said they were undecided in study survey which revealed that 66% of registered voters are aware of the referendum, which is a month away, is an improvement over the CDD Afrobarometer result, which revealed that only 42% of Guineans were aware of the referendum. The Institute of Local Government Studies Survey revealed 67% of registered voters indicated they would turn up. 18% said they would not turn up while 15% were undecided. Among the 67% of registered voters that said they would turn out for vote in the referendum, 75% indicated they would vote yes, 12% said they would vote no, while 13% said they were undecided. It is important for us to know that in the newly created regions, awareness is very high. And I think they, it resonates with them uh, because they have just uh, had... Um, a similar uh, experience in terms of referendum. So you will realize that awareness is very high in, this register, in these uh, regions. Awareness is very low in Greater Accra and Eastern region. There were no differences between the political parties as at the time of the survey. The NDC strongholds, 73% of registered voters said they will vote yes. In the MPP strongholds, 76%. However, this study was carried out the day before NDC uh, declared their intention to vote no. Two days after, we also had the National House of Chiefs, which also made statements. The Institute of Local Government Study intends to go back to the 6,550 registered voters to ask them again, uh, in view of the statement by these two groups, whether their opinions uh, are going to change. Principal policy analyst at the Interministerial Coordinating Committee on Decentralization, compared the survey to that of the CDD Afrobarometer. Awareness is very low among women. Now if you look at here also, it's the same thing, you know. In fact, this one is even more striking that there's, there's a large proportion of women who are not aware and even when you look at those who said, would, would they vote, more women are undecided. The Institute of Local Government Studies Survey had a sample size of 6,550 people across the country. President of Imani Africa, Franklin Kujo, has said the year's vote will encourage the growth of smaller political parties in the country. Hence, it is sad people are against it. The National House of Chiefs is divided over a yes or a no vote. The MPP stands for a yes vote while the NDC has said its supporters should vote no, explaining a yes vote will further polarize the nation, but some NDC MPs are against the party's position. The One Ghana movement is also urging a no vote in the referendum, saying it does not think partisanship is the antidote to the manifest problems of apathy and coordination in local governance and elections. There is a risk of low vote turnout for this referendum, since it will be conducted together with the local government elections, which historically attracts less than 40% of registered voters. In 1988, voter participation in local government elections was 59.3%. It was 29.3% in 1994 and 41% in 1998. In 2002, it was 33.1% and 39.3% in 2006. Voter participation in local government elections in 2010 was 35.3% and 35.7% in 2014. The referendum seeks the opinion of Ghanaians as to whether local government elections should be partisan or not. The constitution requires a minimum 40% voter turnout for the referendum to be valid.